and nine day forecast so you'll know first this is first alert weather so between talking about the tailgating food mm. out there and then that i'm now i'm very hungry uh, me too but <laughs> hang on to your food if yeah. you're going out there <laughs> <laughs> definitely i mean if you're going to see a brisket fly you know it's going to be gusty <laughs> exactly. Don't so, get hit in the head by flying brisket. Guard the grill, that's for sure, because the winds have been strong. We've been saying this for days now, and it looks like the forecast is panning out, even without a thunderstorm overhead. Blowing across the field, we've already been talking about how that may not help those who have to receive punts, special teams, field goals, extra points. With a gust up to 40 miles an hour, it'll be a challenge, and they may have to compensate for that. We have some clouds out there, but nothing that's really too vertically stacked. In other words, this stuff is not going to give you any sort of rain or thunderstorms. Great for tailgating, as mentioned. So far, 82 degrees, another warm day, 75 currently south to southeast winds at 19 miles an hour. This morning's low, obviously not as cool as it's been in previous mornings because of that wind direction. Only starting at about 56 for the morning temp. 75 out toward Lawrence, 73 degrees in Leavenworth, 77 in Trenton, and 69 degrees in Maryville. Wind speed still every bit of, uh, we'll say gusts, Higher than this, but sustained winds 26 miles an hour out toward Paola, 10 miles for Liberty, not as much on the Missouri side. Our temperatures will continue to drop off for this evening through the 70s down into the 60s by 11 o'clock. But still thinking that the rain and the thunderstorm is going to hold off until after that even for some of us. Best chances for the strong to severe thunderstorms out to the west. Still a clip northwest Missouri, northeast Kansas, Hiawatha going up toward Tarkio and points to the east and northeast of that. But as we go farther into time, those thunderstorms will weaken by the time they get to us. 12 hour forecast looking at tomorrow, better chances of some of those leftovers in the morning, otherwise a partly cloudy sky and gusty winds continuing, but coming in from the northwest. Here's a look at First Alert Futures Cam, present time to what we can expect later on tonight. 10 o'clock, still holding out. Luck that this thunderstorm complex that's starting to develop out over, say, Nebraska and Kansas will start to move toward us as a broken line, though. So it may not even come through that a lot of folks may not even get much rain at all. Things are definitely going to weaken as you go the farther east. This is now 2 in the morning, a couple stray showers and even a thunderstorm. As we're heading into the morning drive, 645 or 7, Nick and Katie here tomorrow morning, and it just looks like a fairly thin line, not that strong at all. Maybe a little more redevelopment, 65 highway going to the east. Then we get into the wraparound stages, and what happens with that, a little more sunshine should pop through. So the impacts will be toward the overnight hours and the first portion of Friday, and then with some wraparound, we could even see a stray shower for Friday night football but it should not be as strong at all. 59 to 66 degrees on Friday. Look at the high temperatures on Saturday and Sunday. Ha, 55 the high, that's closer to where we should be at night. 58 on Monday, 61 on Tuesday. The layered look still lasts into early next week as well. Rain gear may come back out on Thursday.